Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, important AAPRM chat GPT prompts for literature survey to for our research paper. So in last video, we have discussed about what are the latest updates in uh, AAPRM chat GPT prompts. Here what we are going to see is what are the important options available for literature survey alone. So how to make literature survey better and also how to generate a reference paper for the particular topic you are giving for your literature survey. Thereby you can uh, you don't need to search uh, uh, relevant papers in Google Scholar or any other sites related with your work. So here you can um, give your topic like that or your area of research you are doing thereby it will generate some reference papers and also it make literature survey for that particular paper so let us go on to today's video and explore that uh, literature survey AIPRM chat GPT prompts so first what we are going to do is we are going to open chat GPT so in chat GPT what we are going to do is we are going to type uh, li literature so click enter so here you can see so write lit review of literature for thesis or synopsis next literature review thesis and academic article next detailed review of literature for thesis next 10 review of literature with api style so what i am going to do is first i am going to uh, click this one write re review of literature for thesis so here what I am going to do is I am going to copy or paste a paper so I am going to do with the paper related with the multiport converters for example so I am going to here in Google Scholar I am going to type multiport converters here you can see a paper called a review of multiport converters for solar and energy storage system energy storage integration so I am going to click that paper and I am going to copy the title of that particular paper paste here and give enter so let us see what chat GPT will do so here you can see review of multiport paper uh, multiport converters for solar and energy storage system in recent years multiport converters has emerged as an attractive solution for integrating renewable energy sources such as PV and energy storage systems the review paper aims to provide the overview of the research conducted on multiport converters for solar energy storage integration to achieve this data from 12 research papers so here for preparing a conference paper you you must you can have this kind of idea to generate your research papers so here you can see JIA ETL 2018 a multiport converter based on modular structure and distributed control was proposed the converter has the capability of connecting solar panel and battery it is able to provide multiple power output ports here this is the explanation of a particular paper so here you can see uh, this paper you can use for your literature survey so this is an important option available in this uh, particular chat so next uh, what I am going to do is I am going to try the next one so here you can see just a minute the next one what I am going to try is uh, literature review thesis and academic articles so I am going to click here so here what it will do is write literature reviews 3000 words within text citations and references and human writing so what I am going to do is I am going to copy and paste the same topic what we have done before so that's review of multiport converters for solar and energy storage and integration so I am going to click enter so let us see how it will generate content for that particular input title here you can see that uh, that is uh, it is about uh, 3000 words and you can see the references here so for that you will be having your 
literature survey study that is at h a o e d a l 2021 proposed multiport converters for hybrid renewable energy system that can integrate solar panels wind turbines energy storage system the proposed converter can operate in different modes to ensure the stability and reliable power supply under different operating conditions so like that it will uh, generate the content that is this is the reference for that particular content so it will generate the content so thereby you can copy and paste the reference in the reference part of your research paper and also you can copy and paste this in your literature survey part that is introduction part of your research paper so thereby you can make your literature survey very very easier so this is also an important prompt available in this aprm chat gpt prompts so next one what we are going to try is so detailed review of literature for thesis so here also what i am going to do is i am going to copy and paste the same topic here just a minute so here you can here you can see the explanation for that particular prompt paste abstract of your topic related article here three paragraph will be generated use third first and then second and skip the first one otherwise pl plagiarism can be directed so what i am going to do is i am going to copy and paste the abstract for that particular paper so here what i am going to do is here comes your abstract so abstract for the same paper review of multiport converters for solar and energy storage integration so i am going to open the chat gpt i am going to copy and paste the abstract here and i am going to give enter so let us see how it will uh, generate the contents So here in order to avoid plagiarism the prompt says that skip the first paragraph so you can skip this first paragraph and start using the second and third paragraph so you can use this author provide a detailed breakdown of isolated and non isolated topologies and compare converter architectures features such as operating condition device count etc so like that it will generate the first and uh, sorry content for that particular input papers so you can copy and paste the second and third to avoid your plagiarism in your research paper so why i have chosen this paper is i have uh, studied that paper i have knowledge in that paper that what are the contents available in this paper especially these things are uh, pinpointed in that paper so only i have used this paper so because uh, it, uh, the paper says the difference between isolated and non isolated topologies like that it will compare the operating condition device counts etc all the tabular column will be available in this paper as this chat gpt will generate a perfect literature survey uh, for that particular paper thereby you can make your introduction part of writing very easier using this chat gpt prompts so next to what we are going to try, uh, try is 10 review of literature with APS style so write 10 review of literature for a research paper or phd thesis so i am going to copy and paste the same paper sorry same title again so here i have copied the abstract so you go to google scholar again so copy and paste the particular title of your research paper go to chat gpt so and then click so let us see how it will generate here you can see our content is generated so you can see here uh, SAID ETL proposed that uh, the three port converter topology for integrating PV battery storage the proposed converter achieved high conversion efficiency of 97 percentage improved dynamic performance like that so here you can see the reference also for that particular paper is generated so you can see for the particular explanation of that paper the reference is generated thereby it also make very simpler simply simplify the work of your uh, introduction part of your research paper writing so these are the new prompts uh, related with your literature survey hope this video will be helpful for you to make your literature survey that is write your introduction part of your paper very easier so thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you